to a certain degree, you guys relate because of that, maybe? Yes, sir. That, that's um, when I first met him. We played in the same area of team for, for two years, and then we, we went to play in high school for two years. Uh, you know, uh, I thought Marvin, the first time I seen him, I thought he was in college. Just, he was so big and athletic. And, you know, we kind of meshed right away, and then we kind of knew about each other's life story. And, uh, you know, any kid growing up without that dad must be hard, but you can never tell. You can never tell the things he goes through by the way he carries himself. Uh, such a respectful young man, and, uh, you know, I'm proud of him, man. He's making a lot of progress. Every single game, he's getting better for us, man. And uh, that's because he continues to grow. He continues to come in more and more, watch him. And uh, I just I just pray to God that he keep, keeps working. Tell me about a month ago, people wondered whether you guys would even be in the tournament. Yes, sir. How did you get to the Final Four? Uh, I mean, God, man. God is good, you know what I mean? Um, we just kept working. We just kept working. We stayed together. You know, it was a bumpy road. And I, and I think any time in life, any great success story, you know, you got to have a bump somewhere. You can't just go along. It's not a walk in the park for everything, but the, the beautiful part about it is, you know, there were games we lost, man, that we shouldn't have lost. The Texas Southern game, one of the worst losses here. Uh, you should, it's so crazy how guys just stuck together, you know. Um, anywhere else, I mean, you know what I'm saying, guys probably would have split apart and started doing their own thing, you know, just trying to get there and saying, okay, people talking about we not making the tournament. Let me try to get mine. Let me do my own thing. That wasn't the case here. Yeah, everybody, we kept the same goal. We kept the same focus. And no matter what happened, we continued to grind together. And this is how this team is right now. And it's a blessing to be in the Final Four. What was it that kept all of you together? Our relationship off the court. Uh, we knew uh, from the summer, we knew what our, our one goal was, and that was to get to Indy. You know, we preached it every single morning, every single workout. And uh, I think that fire was still burning inside of us that, that we still couldn't make it, you know, that was, there was still hope. I mean, we weren't a, we weren't under 500, you know, it wasn't like it was that bad. There was a hope for us, there was hope left for us, and we just kept that, that same fire. When Coach Izzo told you guys to stop <clears throat> saying India to every huddle, how yeah. did you guys react to that? Uh, you know, we, for me, I took it as, wow, uh, you know, I was a, I'm a freshman, man, so it was like, man, I, I, I had no idea he would told us to, to tell us to stop saying it. But I still seen the same fire in God's eye. We started making up. Uh, he was like, just say the next opponent name that we about to play. And we started doing that. But guys still had that same fire. We knew we still kind of texted each other about it se separately, talking about Indy, because we knew that's where we wanted to go. Is it OK now to say Indy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and it feels good to say Indy. We'll be there tomorrow. What are your expectations, and what's your vision of the way the next week is going to go for you guys in Indianapolis? Uh, I don't, to be honest, sir, I don't know what to expect because I never played in the Final Four. I never played in an environment like that. Uh, but from former players and just watching it on TV, I know as a kid, you know, especially being from the Bahamas, uh, everybody don't get to do that in their life, you know. Uh, some people go their whole college career without making the Final Four, and uh, I'm getting to be a part of a team in my first year in college. So I just want to thank God for that experience. But, you know, we just want to go out there and continue to play the best basketball we've been playing. You know, we have nothing left. It's, it's one or done. It's win, it's win or go home. But uh, we expect to go out there and play our best basketball, and I'm looking forward to it. Coach Izzo told us today, he told you guys Sunday, two hours of work for 60 hours. years of memories. What yeah. does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me, man, because uh, I told, I, I think I was telling Aaron Harris, our transfer from West Virginia, I was telling him, I was like, man, I don't want, I don't want us to split up, man. I wish I could play with you guys for the rest of my life. But I think that's because of our relationship off the court. I'm telling you, man, uh, these guys are wonderful people to be around, man. Like, uh, you know, I can't say this about everybody that I know, but I think I would, I would give my life, I would lay my life down for any one of these guys. That's how, that's the kind of bond I feel with this team. You know, I can't say that for everybody I know, but for this team, man, I, any, any, sing, any coach, any manager, it's just, it's just something about this team that, that I love, man, and I, I'm happy to be in the final four with them. How much of your family?